So, good morning all of you. I am Deepak Fatak. I teach here. I uh, have been teaching here like for 42 years. Welcome to this summer internship program. Uh, I think uh, you have gone through a fairly rigorous process which you may not be aware of, but there were thousands of applicants and uh, Professor Aute and his colleagues have put in some a whole lot of filtering processes and things like that. Uh, this is a very, very serious effort that we have put in and we expect you to put in so that you benefit maximally from this. So, let me tell you a background. IIT Bombay conducts a whole lot of outreach activities. We started our distance education program in 2000 after planning for it for two years. We initially uh, had some three or four remote centers only. One was in Indore. So, we started with about four remote centers. We used VSATs. VNIT Nagpur was one at that time. Uh, Indore was one. There is a small town called Nanded and there was one uh, VSAT center in South. We extended it. Our idea was to engage participants in a blend of synchronous and asynchronous engagement. So, synchronous engagement is we give lectures from here and people attend those lectures. We have interactive video. So, people can ask questions almost the way you are asking questions. So, if there are 20 centers and 30, 40 people have assembled at each one of these 20 centers, whenever I am giving a lecture, it is seen and heard by everyone. But whenever somebody is asking me a question, that person and that person's center is visible not only to me, but to all the entire community. Similarly, whatever answer I give is visible and audible to all the community. So, this is what we call simulated classroom kind of thing. Then we decided that there are just too many students and we cannot reach all of them. However, what is important is good qualified and experienced teachers are not available in most of the institutions. So, we decided to concentrate on teachers oriented and therefore, for last 6 or 7 years we have been concentrating on conducting orientation programs for teachers only. So, we first decided to train 1000 teachers at a time. It is a very important program. We had about 40, 50 remote centers like that. We started using internet instead of VSAT. We use a homegrown product called AVU, which was developed by Amruta University down south. And uh, we trained about 20,000 teachers in this fashion by running several workshops. These are rigorous two week workshops. So, you choose a core engineering subject. The expert gives lectures from here, but the tutorials and labs are conducted in the remote centers. So, suppose I am a teacher who is participating from VNIT Nagpur, for example, I mean at VNIT Nagpur, I may be from some other college, I go to VNIT Nagpur, I listen to lectures in the morning delivered by IIT Bombay, I participate in interaction, and in the afternoon, I do the lab experiments, uh, tutorials, and assignments in that college. And our training has been as rigorous as it is in the IIT side. So, all teachers are required to submit assignments. Not only that, when they finish this two week program, they are framed into teams and these teams have to submit a post workshop assignment after two weeks. All the contents that are so created including video recorded lectures, etcetera are released in open source. So, they are available to anybody and everybody. Last year, the government asked us whether we can scale up this effort for teachers training. So, we now have a mandate to train 1,50,000 teachers in 15 courses. So, 10,000 teachers in every subject over the next three years. We conducted first such program in thermodynamics last December. This summer, there are two uh, programs. One is on relational database management systems and that is being conducted by Professor Sudarshan. You may be familiar with this name, Sudarshan textbook. Scott Silbershard Sudarshan is followed in many places. Anybody, uh, you have all done uh, database courses in your, so do you follow that book? Yeah, okay. So, he is going to teach that course. What we do additionally is before running this two week program, we appoint a workshop coordinator at each of these remote centers. Now, we have 250 remote centers. Now, these workshop coordinators are actually the teachers for 30, 40 participants who assemble at each place. So, Sudarshan is giving lectures from here, but the assignments, the tutorials, labs, etcetera to be conducted by those coordinators. 
So we get all 250 coordinators to IIT Bombay for one week and first train them. Just like we train our teaching assistants who are MTech students, PhD students, etc. And these people are trained as rigorous. So as we speak, the teachers are listening to some tutorials and lectures in the morning by Sudarshan and they are conducting lab experiments in the afternoon. That is the reason why you have no lab available to you. Their course ends tomorrow evening and from day after tomorrow you can have access to the labs and, and machines. We also got the responsibility of running Akash project last year and we concentrated on two things. We upgraded the specs and we also decided to develop a whole lot of applications and content meaningful for education. We realized that whatever we do, we also release all these things in open source by the way. But we realized that whatever we do, we cannot comprehensively cover the entire requirement of educational sector in terms of applications and content. So two things are clear to us. One is the ecosystem has to develop in, develop in India, whereby paid content, paid applications, etc., etc., would be available and students would choose them. Much like students today choose to pay coaching classes to learn something or online uh, tutorials to learn something, etc. That will happen whenever it happens. But from our side, we said we must create a large community of contributors who will develop open source content and applications and uh, which can be deployed on Akash. So all these remote centers that we have, we have converted most of them into Akash application centers. Uh, in fact, many of you are from NIT, which are our remote centers. So we had conducted a program on Android application development for students of these colleges. Is there anybody here who attended that? You did. Okay. Most of you would be doing your final year project after you go back, right? So in case you are interested, you are most welcome to work, uh, continue your work on um, Akash tablets. Why I mentioned these two projects, there are n a number of other things going on. For example, we have a free and open source software group, which has actually developed a full-fledged native Linux kernel for Akash. So Akash is now a dual boot uh, machine, which can run Linux as well. We also have a group in um, uh, which creates animations. Uh, we have a group led by Professor uh, Kandan Mavgalya, which creates spoken tutorials, a whole lot of things that are happening. All of these you will find reflected in the kind of projects that you will be doing. Because whatever work you do here has to go and contribute to the efforts in, uh, in both these projects that we do. So everything that you develop, everything that you document, everything that you test will be made available to the entire community across the world in fact, but will be most meaningful for the Indian users. So your colleague students, your junior students, teachers everywhere, they should benefit. That's the objective. That's the reason why I'm using part of the government funding to support this effort. Uh, as all of you know, it costs money to do a summer internship these days. Institutions charge their fees. Uh, like their pound of flesh. So IIT Bombay also charges per intern so much money. And of course, you have to spend money on your own upkeep. You know, you have to eat food, you have to sleep, you have to stay somewhere. Uh, and uh, we have therefore decided that we'll take care of those expenses so that you are not out of pocket. Now, your costs are being borne by your parents or family or someone. So we said this should not happen. However, the expectation is that it's not because we are bearing the cost, but the expectation is that you are actually, in our opinion, going to be leaders in the profession when you pass out. Not because you are extraordinarily intelligent or something like that. We don't give a damn to intelligence, by the way. I mean, the, the sharpest minds in the world we have seen, I have seen for the last 40 years. Intelligence is not something that you have worked for. Without doing any hard work, you got it because it's a, it's a genetic uh, legacy that you have received. What you do with that intelligence is what counts. But what we believe is that the more capable amongst you, the more driven amongst you would be able to achieve something better than others, a delta better than others. And that is why our entire selection process, for, unfortunately, we have to use the common sense filtering, namely your performance, academic performance in your college. Let me tell you at the outset that the academic performance, however great, is not necessarily an indicator of A, 
what actual useful results you can achieve through your work. B, it is not an indicator of your attitude and the self-driven uh, fire that you have in your belly. You would also agree that there are students who actually do not score very high marks in exams, but they are extremely possessed and, and uh, committed for something that they decided, whatever it is. So, what we would like you to do is to get that commitment out and it is that commitment which we would like to see the evidence of when you are here. So, it is a hard program. Of course, we would like you to enjoy life when you are on the campus. So, I believe we will give them off on Sunday at least. Well, actually we do not do much policing except that we just analyze the logs of how many people are logged in at what time and so on. We try to keep our labs open as long as you want and uh, we would like you to work in a concentrated fashion. Since the duration is small, it is 8 weeks for most of you, but for some people it will be 6 weeks. So, you should plan your activities very, very carefully. I believe you have been divided into teams uh, which will be working on separate projects. It may so happen that a particular tool is not necessary for a particular project or a particular project which is being described is of less interest to people who are not going to work on that project. But my request to you is please listen to all of these very seriously because it is important that you get to see the entire spectrum of activities that is going on independent of what particular project you are working on. Is that okay? Right. So, that is a method of exposure that. So, take care of yourself. You are all smart people and uh, but be very careful. Uh, Take care of your health, it is a new place, the food will be different. I would not say bad or good, it will be different. So, enjoy life and, and work as much as you can, learn as much as you can. I will conclude by saying that this is one responsibility I want you to carry back, which is not stated anywhere, which cannot be stated. You will find something different in IIT Bombay. I mean, there are IITs, there are NITs, there are great institutions. We believe that we are today recognized as number one institution because that delta extra thing that happens here and that delta extra thing is creativity and energy levels. So, people tend to do new experiments. Take this experiment of ours of distance education and training large number of teachers. Any other institute could have done that easily, but we did it. So, the difference in IIT Bombay according to me is that that delta extra mile that everybody is willing to walk. You will find lot of energy levels in everything that people do here, whether they are uh, whether they are having a, a long CAC session in the night. CAC session is discussion session among students at 2 o'clock in the night. They will do it with the same energy. If they are solving some hard problems, they will attempt it with the same energy. I would like you to take those energy things back and talk to your own colleagues about these things. What you find different in IIT Bombay? Because whatever you find different is easily doable in every campus. In fact, when you talk to each other, you will find the differences in the ethos that prevail in different institutions. There is a lot of learning from that. Find out what better things happen in this college or that institute or that place and try to imbibe that. And I would like you to make one page note at the end of the day of what you think are take away from A you are living at IIT Bombay for 2 months and B from the interaction that you have with other people. And this one page should be description of what your own college, your own student and teachers should be doing over the next 1 or 2 years to significantly make a difference to that college as a whole. Do not forget that you have got an opportunity to study in that college. Likewise, there are going to be thousands of students who will be coming later. And anything that you contribute in this fashion, it will be helpful. I mention this specifically because it is wrongly felt and understood that running an institute is the job of administration and teachers. And students job is only to take, take, take. That is not correct. IIT Bombay, if it is different, is because not just the students and the staff and the faculty, but also our alumni contribute consistently in making the institute better through debates, through discussions, through whatever, whatever. Everything is not hunky dory. There are problems everywhere. We also have problems. We tend to solve those problems. And I would like you to take this back and talk to your own teachers. You must be well recognized students in your own colleges. So, there will be at least few teachers will listen to you. And if necessary, I will write to heads of all the institutions saying that these students of your college who did their internship 
have got something to share with you please do spend some time listen to them and and try to see how your own institute can be made better you agree that it will be a fruitful exercise so this has nothing to do with the topic on which you work there is nothing to do with the technical work that you do that of course you must do with the best effort and excellent that is expected of there is a team effort but unfortunately the teams are so small that we cannot afford to have any sleeping partner in any team so everybody will have to contribute and as i said we don't do any policing so is the team itself along with the mentors that we have assigned uh, how to sort of uh, take care of doing things well all the best then carry on thank you